Yo, slutty, what the hell going on with uh, young boys? You know what I'm saying? Young boys and young girls. You know what I'm saying? Hey, young males and females. If y'all oh, above 18, hey, man, I need me a fan base. What the hell am I going to name my fan base? You know what I'm saying? Huncho, 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 Huncho-sian? Huncho's. Huncho's-ian. Huncho's-ian! Like, just like I'm the chosen one. And my name, Almighty Huncho's. Huncho's-ians. What's going, Huntosens? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all coming below Timmy if that shit fry, but we got the 85 South Show. Showing up late to where you be like. Listen, 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 listen. Hold up. Alright, look what's out. Look, look like intro. Yep, I'll be just tapping. Bro, let me tell y'all, this morning when I woke up, nigga, it's still the morning, so I feel you, as you can see. Look at the window. Alright, look. This morning, FedEx don't call my motherfucking phone. They call my phone. Talking about, oh, yeah, is this such and such my name? I'm like, yeah, this is him speaking. Uh, are you still interested in the um position? I'm like, what position? Delivery driver. I'm like, I really would like, hell no. Nah, I'm like, how much I paying? They said 500 every week. Tight shit. $500 bonus a week or something like that. And then shit, I just said that, yeah. Even though I, I probably wasn't gonna go, I probably was gonna go, probably wasn't gonna go. I told I just told her that, yeah. Cause I heard the 500, I'm like, 500 do sound good though, you know what I'm saying? It don't sound like no bullshit ass. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not working no bullshit ass job no more. I ain't gonna okay. catch, I'm too old to be working a bullshit ass job. I might as well do what I'm, not do what I'm doing right now. If I might as well. Do what I want to do. I'm chasing something. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do something right now. If you know what I'm saying? I could still direct the job, but I want to do this instead. If you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm not no YouTube, hey, let's just do the YouTube shit for fun. This shit fun in here. You know what I'm saying? I just, this is the same shit I do every day. I just watch YouTube all day. So shit, we don't react to them off right now. You know what I'm saying? Freebirds! Freebirds! Even though I don't get paid from this shit, this shit for free. This shit for fun. You know what I'm saying? I gotta put that in my mind. If I'm not having fun doing this shit, I can't do. I can't do it. I can do this shit all day for fun. Cause this shit, you know what I'm saying? But wait till they get paid for this shit, like, cause like I'm already spent going crazy with this shit. Just imagine how up I would be if I had like a hundred k subscribers. But we going, no, we going retire. We going crazy, like it will be more type of content. Anyways, if ugly like niggas talking about, oh, how old you gotta be? It's talking about twenty one. Told his that I'm not 21. Oh, well, you can't get a job. Oh, you don't meet the requirements. That's what they said. You don't meet the requirements. I'm like, all right, fuck y'all anyway. I don't want y'all boo-boo at a job anyway. I don't want to be no goddamn delivery driver anywhere. Drop packages at niggas' houses. Getting chased by dogs. Getting bit in the ass like BFB Pac-Man. Shout out that boy BFB Pac-Man. Man, I was watching that nigga interviews. That nigga interview funny as hell. And that nigga music hard as hell at the same time. You see, that's rare to find. And, like, you wouldn't even think the nigga music hard from looking at his head. The nigga look ass, but his music is hard. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, shout out to boy B.B. Pepman. Keep doing your shit. Your music is hard as hell. You snapped on that, I think it was called Lunch Tray. It was nigga dancing at the wrong type shit. At the food court with this shit. I'm like, I'm in the gym. I'm like, boy, these fat nigga going hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I ain't gonna cut. It be niggas that be making you wanna rap. I'm like, this shit so hard. Maybe you wanna rap about nasty shit if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Cause I could. This shit, let me just. Appreciate so you coming out though, my nigga. Work. We wasn't goddamn. We was back there trying to get them pictures and shit, though. We ain't moving, bro. We ain't, 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 ain't like we ain't doing our niggas, bro. Man, we ain't apologizing for that shit. I heard them niggas gonna be on the BT Awards. Even though don't nobody watch the BT Awards, I mean, that shit is slick. Be funny, I guess. Niggas in here, y'all act like y'all come on time to shit. Let you come to late, you come to work late, and it ain't the supervisor that see you come in and somebody say you late. Damn, bro, what took you so long? Man, you gonna shit your motherfucking ass. Oh ass God, shit at me. oh God, but I ain't gonna cut my last job. Ain't nobody should tell me shit when I was late. My last job, I was working at Amazon. They ain't tell me shit. I, I used to be come in, clock in, go do my little shit. You know what I'm saying? But I, I really ain't used to be like late like that because I used to be be about my money. Like I don't pay about money. I don't pay about my money. 
But it would be sometimes that I would be late. Sometimes, I, I remember this one time, I was like 30 minutes late because like I had a morning shift. And you know, ain't nobody waking up in the morning like that. So I wake up super late. And then we go in there. My dad taking me to work. We ain't on the goddamn train. It's got that train on. Like, train kept going by for like 10, 15 minutes. I was like, God, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, made me miss my bread. Fucking nigga, though. But anyway, like, I don't like clocking coming in late. It never been a problem for me. Because I didn't used to like being late. When I did be late, niggas ain't even say shit to me. I mean, what the hell they gonna say? You're late. Okay, nigga, so. Goddamn time, buddy. What you talking about? That's why I don't fuck with y'all like that. Don't worry oh, about the fourth time I came to work. I hate niggas like who be on niggas nuts. You know what I'm saying? At, at, at the job. Like, fuck, boy, you ain't no manager. Ugly ass nigga, bro. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all how this white dude lied on me at my dad's job at Amazon. They lame ass fuck, nigga. It's a nigga named G. White nigga. Bald head. Niggas, nigga talk Irish as hell. You know what I'm saying? I hope you seen it, little bitch ass boy, because if you seen it, boy, I want my one not playing with your super dad. Alright, bitch. I don't know. This matter of fact, this day I got fired. This day I got fired. I don't want to tell you the whole story because it's too much. I ain't gonna cap. I already put that motherfuckers out as a story time, if anything. But it's a white nigga that G. Uh got now. I told his dad, hey bro, my scanner not working. You know, I work at Amazon. We scan the shit. Beep, beep, beep. We just scan the shit. I told his that, hey bro, my scanner not working. Yeah, yeah. And then he like, oh, take my dollar. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> and then some bitch told me, oh, you not, you wasn't scanning your your scanner. Said you wasn't scanning. I'm like, oh, my scanner was messed up. And then did you tell anybody? Yeah, I told I told white dude G. And then she went up to ask white dude G. White dude. And then she's like, did did he say his scanner wasn't working? He's like, no, he did not. I'm like, bitch. I'm like, nigga, is you gonna lie like that? You gonna lie right in front of me and her having me look like a liar, nigga. I'm not lying, nigga. See, you be these niggas and you not fired. These niggas can't even be true to themselves. They even really scared of their ugly ass dyke ass hoe. Why you gotta So you have, why why the hell are you lying to this dyke hoe? So you scared of this dyke hoe? This dyke hoe your manager? This guy call your boss. If you tell the truth, they gonna fire you. Okay, with your scary ass this nigga, bitch. Nigga is real life a hoe. Nigga let that hoe run over him and then not if I see that. Well, that's why I can't do that. Shit. I was too real for that shit. Like, why is you capping to a guy? Nigga, you scared she gonna beat your ass, nigga? Scary ass bitch ass boy. Nigga, I'm doing my motherfucking job. Don't say shit to me for the rest of the motherfucking day, man. Oh, God, I know when I used to be working with my AirPods in. They used to be like, oh, no, I had no AirPods in. This nigga named Thomas. This nigga used to always be watching, oh, oh you know you can't have your pods on the floor. I'd be like, oh, all right. I put them whole back in my pocket. You know, and nigga leave, I'm like, fuck that nigga. I put that shit on the other ear. Nigga not gonna see my shit. My fuck around. Damn, I should've been smart like other niggas. Got. Niggas, other niggas was wearing beanies and shit over that shit. They smart head, but I had the AirPods on. I just put that shit in my other ear. Nigga say, uh, you still can't have your pies on, on the floor. I'm gonna have to write you up. Them niggas wrote me up in my job like two times. They what time they wrote me up? Cause they said I was being too slow. My like, bitch ass nigga, how the fuck gonna be so slow? I'm not no motherfucking robot, bitch. I'm not can't be in the bitch. <laughs> no, bitch, I'm taking my sweet time, nigga. I, don't, I mean, they were paying all right, but nigga, I'm chilling. Dog. I'm working. Let me work, nigga. But when you working hourly, that shit be feeling like slavery, but I ain't gonna cap. Like, when you work hourly, that shit feel like slavery. You just working for your time. And nigga like me, I'd rather work hard at something I do than work hourly and get paid. Even though the check was good, the job was cool and all that. I ain't gonna care. It wasn't a bad job. Plenty times, I fucked up. I'm gonna take responsibility for what I did. I was the nigga doing all it. I was in the wrong. And fuck, fuck you, niggas. Hey, I got this motherfucker. You say that shit when I stayed the fire yesterday. Goof ass nigga, always gonna be calling me. Nigga, 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 nigga,
bitch, I work too hard for y'all to be coming in here complaining about this shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Like, you shouldn't. Bitch, I shouldn't be employee of the month with all of this goddamn double shits I'm taking. I'm taking goddamn overtime. I'm working 10 hours a day. I was working 10 hours a day for four days. That's 40 hours. That's over the, um, over this shit. I, I was working the, oh, overtime and all that shit. I was busting my ass in that bitch. I didn't want to come to me telling me about my performance. Bro, goddamn, all this bullshit, bro. Like, if I'm working for y'all, y'all supposed to fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't be on no bullshit. Motherfucking clock. Don't even come by me. Don't say shit to me. Do your shit. I'm going to do my shit. Have a nice motherfucking day. I just got one thing. I just want to know who the fuck he talking to. Hey, hey, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll take care of this. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Miller. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> I see you're a little upset about me making a comment about you being late. But uh, what I want you to know is this is your third write-up. So, uh, Motherfucker, you can't write up. Fuck y'all right up, bitch. That's what I said. It's so over. Like, I'm going to have to write you up. I just said, okay. Like, type of nigga I am, I'm, I've never been no type of nigga to just argue with niggas or, like, go back and forth with niggas. I just keep shit pushing. Okay. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Let's see. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be doing too much talking. Because, like, I'm a, I am don't do too, I just don't do too much talking. Like, I don't really fuck with you. We working. I really don't. What's the problem? We don't got no problem here. I'm working. I'm doing what y'all want me to do. You know, I'm scanning shit. But niggas just want to want, want niggas to go the extra mile. But I'm not that nigga who gonna have to pay extra for me to go the extra mile. You know what I'm saying? Me up. You ain't the motherfucker who right up. Pick. You ain't the nigga that hired me. You know who my? I don't have no motherfucking boss. Frank ain't here. Assistant manager. You can't find shit. You can ask me to clock out. And guess what I'm gonna tell you? Kiss my ass. Fuck you ain't this job. I lead it, bitch. Fuck it. Do you love me, boy? You better get your boy. <laughs> the nigga be trying to keep their jobs. Bro, you know at the jobs who be the maddest? Them old ladies, bro. Them old ladies be mad as hell. Them old ladies be pissed the fuck off, but like they be the man was having problems with the motherfuckers, with the people. Like them old ladies, boy, they will get on your ass. Like them old ladies. They own your ass. You, mm, bitch, I ain't got me fucked. And they gonna tell me about cock They gonna go, they gonna go, they gonna, go, they gonna find some friends. They gonna find a crew of messy bitches to talk about your ass. Tell you. And it's never more than, they always gonna take their anger out on another person. Like, they always gonna, they got, it's like they got to, like, they get mad. They gonna go to somebody and talk, talk about their ass. They gonna talk about it. Yeah, this bitch have a manager. Yeah. They gonna go to somebody and talk, talk. They gonna talk about it. These bitches be salty in here. Them old ladies be salty. Whole time. Soon as the supervisor come in. Uh, Mr. Mr. Mark, can I talk? Y'all yeah, grandmas be nice as hell. See, they get to work. <laughs> they, they cussing out the whole staff and the managers. Do you for a second? Ooh, me? Yeah, yeah. Come here for a second. Every job I had, managers they never really liked me because I was always so laid back, you know what I'm saying? I only had like three jobs. Three jobs three jobs. You know what I'm saying? And they I really ain't like I never lasted like a year. I never really lasted a year working. I always been cool as hell, polite, respectful, all that. I ain't never talk back, talk a lot, none of that. Niggas always have respect for me, but I was just too laid back, I guess. Like, I, I did shit. I was on some beach shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I used to be taking my itty bitty time, sitting down on my phone, hiding in the bathroom long as hell. I used to be that type of employee type shit, like a lazy employee type shit. But, the pay didn't motivate me enough. Like, if you, if you come with a good-ass pay, that shit will motivate me. Like, money motivate me, but $8 an hour, fuck, no. I don't. Like, I'm just in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just in this bitch. I'm not working. I'm just here for the time. You know what I'm saying? That's how I used to be feeling, but. Uh, fuck this shit. very aggressive. Bro, I remember one time I was 
Like my, my first job sex I remember I was at work. Boy, I had super diarrhea like a motherfucker, but I had I took like two shits, but I was in that bitch hiding like at my child. Like I had, I had went on break. I had ate some shit, right? It was some different shit. I'm like, bro, I eat the same shit every day. Let me get the nibbler meals. That's Zaxby's. And then I ate the nibbler meal. I think they put ranch in my shit. I don't know if it was ranch, but I thought they put Zax sauce on the shit. They put some different sauce on my shit. I'm like, this shit don't taste like Zax sauce. This shit don't taste like tongue torch sauce. This better not be ranch. But, you know, like when you cheap it here, but you like, I'm gonna still eat my shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm working, I pay for this shit. I still only get 25% off. The nibblers call probably cost it like eight dollars. I only paid six dollars, so I'm still paying money. So I'm like, I'm not wasting my shit. I ate that shit. Then I go go start washing dishes, which I fucking hated like a motherfucker. And then I just go in the bathroom, <laughs> just diarrhea like a motherfucker. I'm just laying that motherfucker out like water. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh hell, and I can't believe I'm taking super shit at work, man. Like, man, I'm really taking super shit at my job right now. And I'm, I'm praying that guys, dude, it's, it's on some toilet paper right next to me. Yeah, it's toilet paper. So I'm good. I'm in there be chilling. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Chilling. And then I write my ass. Do, 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 do. I go back to washing dishes. I gotta take a shit again. Boy. I had to do that right now again. Taking another shit. Boy, real deal diarrhea, bro. Like, I was like, I'm not eating no shit, no nibblers, no more. Ever since that day, I ain't never ate no nibblers. I think my sister brought home some nibblers and I ate that shit, but it wasn't no no shit with the ranch in it. I don't know if it was ranch that made me shit, but I don't know why the hell my stomach was so fucked up off the nibblers. Crazy. Listen, when he came in, right? He came in late. He came in 45 minutes. That motherfucker lying. I wasn't late. That motherfucker lying. That's what I'm talking about. Lying. I'll whoop your ass for lying on me and this motherfucker. Don't do it. Don't do it, Joe. Think about your family. Think about your family. Think about your girl. That's my little boy. And my girl. That motherfucker's talking about. I brought them to work with me. Stand up. Stand up right now. You lucky my little boy sleep. I slap the shit out you, boy. Think about your family. Listen, now what you were saying, sir, he's very aggressive, and I don't want to have to call the authorities, so if you could just handle his attitude, it would be very easy to call my dad. Call! Call! Hey, call. call! I want you to call! Nah, call. don't call! Hey, bro! Call. Hold on, hold on, see, now, see, now you gotta pin me off, because don't call him, because I got weed in this motherfucker, you get what I'm saying? So I'm gonna need you to call all that shit down, I'm bringing you hip, but I mean, you get hip. Fuck it, don't call him I, I just don't feel safe here. You don't feel safe. Right. This shit. You say, bro, nobody gonna do that to you. We had a gross snow. It ain't safe. I'll bust your motherfucking shit. I'll bust your shit. You might as well fight. You might as well fight. I'll bust your whole shit. What? See, I'm, I'm that type of nigga. Uh, I'm super bad to let y'all fight. I ain't never really seen no fight at my job. That shit would have been lit, boy. If I was, but if it, if a nigga was to get the fight at my job, boy, I, I'm gonna instigate the whole shit. Like, I'm gonna make everything. I'm gonna hype the motherfucker up. People be like, oh shit! Damn. You know how niggas be in school, bro? I wonder how fights be at the workplace. Do niggas be hyping that shit up or niggas be breaking it up? Because I want to know how the grown people handle it. Because in school, niggas like, oh shit! Oh shit! Like, I want like, to see if like, at a child, niggas don't break that shit up. I'm like, oh shit! Oh shit! And niggas just hit the fuck out of it. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see that shit. Fuck it then! Move! Fight! Somebody gonna get knocked the fuck out. Go ahead, cause I'm sick of this shit. Go ahead. You know what's next after that? Oh, so y'all take hello corporate. Hey, how are you guys doing? Your name is Bob. I ain't telling you. I ain't never had a job. Hello, Bob. Never. You ain't never had a job. I had one job. A pop call. They used to hate on me when I used to try to do overtime all the time. All the time. I never understood. Why would they hate on you? I don't know. I used to always come. We only get four hours, so the overtime get extra cold. So I used to. That was like my last job. My last job, we used to work four hours a day. But like sometimes I work like double, so that would probably be like eight hours, not nah, like ten hours, ten hours. Cause like it's a little gap in between the shift type shit. Like, excuse me, can I get my overtime? So she let me do it one time. I come back today, that's how I want my overtime. She let me do it again. Hell, I need that overtime. I said, bitch, take turns. Life ain't about taking turns, bitch. I need this job. 
So we used to go across the street. So we started going across the street, nigga. I just jumped back off on her and started parking cars. Fuck that. Here we go. <laughs> Got my overtime. You stole yeah, some overtime. I stole some overtime. I stole like eight hours. I ain't gonna count. I still want to be on 85 South, so like as a as a speaker of the young niggas, like representative of the young niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think I will be lit on that bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll talk my shit, you know what I'm saying? Man, having a job is dope. I used to work at Whole Foods. Whole Foods Market, where all the white people come and shop after they gentrify your neighborhood. That's where they come. You worked at Whole Foods? I worked at Whole Foods as a bag. I used to I used to bag groceries at Whole Foods. And listen, white people been spending five hundred dollars on groceries since two thousand. True story. Them motherfuckers come in and buy some shit. They got some shit called three sixty five. It's their brand. Bro, why the hell is like good food expensive? But like the regular, like you know, what I'm talking about like groceries be cheap. It like it, it's regular, but the good shit, the quality, the healthy, the healthy, the healthy shit is expensive. Why is the healthy shit that good for you expensive? The natural shit, the non-GMO shit, expensive as hell. That costs a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Like a salad at McDonald's probably like ten dollar. But the tea break probably like a dollar, two dollars, you know what I'm saying? Why? It's the unhealthy shit cheap in the guy. Uh, I guess shit costs, bro. You gotta get money to eat good, you know what I'm saying? I've been like that from from a young age. You gotta have money to eat good, you know what I'm saying? And then they sell like I'm it's like great value, bitch. but for some reason white people buy you at more than great value, so they get to charge extra money for the shit. So white people you see, I never forget this white man came through. And spent six hundred dollars. I bagged all that shit. Then we had waters, these big cases of waters outside with six gallons of water. And this nigga got fifteen cases. I loaded all of them bitches into the back of his truck. He said, "Thanks for your help," and flicked me a quarter. Nigga, I was like, "Oh, this nigga I must done think it's that shit like a plague." This nigga must think it's the twenties. He just gave me a fucking quarter. Damn. Nigga, after that, I was like, ooh, I'm still in now. We about to have 365 shit at my Hold house. Up. So you said I'm still in the shit with that truck. Boy, boy, I was boy. I was throw that shit, put that shit on eBay, you know what I'm saying? I am going with that shit. Matter of fact, fuck that Instagram. Saying this shit on Instagram. Hey, well one day we making deliveries right now. Just hit my cash up, hit my zip, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. Yeah. Just take a picture of that motherfucker while you work. Hey, we, we trying to shop, you know what I'm saying? To hit the cash out. I'm talking about real tuna, nigga. Me and my family, they ain't real nice for me working out the food after that nigga gave me that corner. Yeah, y'all got some flank steaks? I'll take two. Man, he, he, he ain't about all that shit. Man, listen. Nigga. By himself? Oh, these white people. I try to show you what you guys need. I try to show you what you guys need. And you know I'm out of all the fucking bands. And you know they're running out of my fucking bands. Yeah. I, 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 child. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. I'm about to keep dropping on y'all stupid. You know what I'm saying? You did.